Liam's Nightly Adventures by Stereo Melon. In the picturesque kingdom of Eldoria, there lived a young squire named Liam who dreamed of becoming a gallant knight. He spent his days honing his skills in swordplay and chivalry. One sunny morning, while exploring the lush woods near the castle, Liam stumbled upon an ancient treasure chest. It was adorned with gleaming jewels and overflowing with glittering coins. Liam's eyes widened in amazement and his heart raced with excitement. But as he examined the treasure, a feeling of unease crept over him. He knew he had to protect this treasure from thieves who might seek to steal it. <laughs> Liam was determined to keep it safe. He measured out a portion of the treasure as a test to see if he could find the perfect guardian to keep it safe. His first choice was a skunk, known for her pungent spray that could deter even the bravest of souls. Dear skunk, Liam said, with your remarkable spray, you'll be the perfect guardian for this treasure. The skunk accepted and posted herself beside the treasure. It wasn't long before a cunning band of thieves arrived, carrying a grand bouquet of the most fragrant flowers to mask the skunk's pungent odour. But the skunk was utterly enchanted upon seeing the bountiful bouquets. These flowers are a gift from the heart, the skunk said, her eyes twinkling with delight. Liam watched in disbelief as the skunk completely forgot about the treasure she was guarding. The thieves quickly made off with the loot, leaving the skunk blissfully enchanted by the bouquet. Liam decided to try again. He came upon a wise owl known for his keen eyesight and sharp instincts. The owl seemed eager to protect the treasure with his watchful gaze. The owl proved to be an impeccable guardian under the darkness of night. He hooted warnings at any approach in danger, keeping the treasure safe from harm. However, when the sun was up, he had a peculiar habit of falling fast asleep. Why do you sleep during the day? Liam asked. My dear boy, owls are creatures of the night. We need our rest for the dark hours when danger is most likely. When the band of cunning thieves heard word of the owl's daytime slumber, they traded heavy boots for soft leather shoes, tiptoeing right past the snoozing owl. Once again, they seized the treasure with ease, leaving the owl none the wiser. Liam would not give up. He knew he had to find the perfect guardian to protect the treasure. His quest led him deeper into the woods where he heard a soft snore beneath the shade of an ancient oak tree. The sound was from a magnificent sleeping dragon. Its shimmering scales of emerald and sapphire reminded Liam of the jewels that donned the treasure chest. Liam gathered his courage and approached the dragon cautiously. Great dragon, I have stumbled upon a treasure of inconceivable value and I seek a guardian worthy to protect it. Will you lend me your strength? The dragon blinked open its eyes. A treasure, you say? It rumbled in a voice as deep as thunder. Show me this treasure, young squire. Liam knew there would be no better creature than the dragon to guard the treasure and led the dragon to the sparkling chest. The dragon's sleepy eyes widened as it gazed upon the jewels and gold. Young squire, I see within you a spirit that shines with bravery, said the dragon. I shall protect this treasure, but on one condition. Every week you shall return, offering tales of your many adventures. The dragon then used his fiery breath to create a labyrinth of molten rock around the treasure, settled his armored body around the glistening chest, and returned to a watchful sleep. No thief dared to approach the treasure again. Time passed, and Liam became renowned throughout Eldoria for his many adventures. As he regaled the dragon with tales of his escapades, their 
bond grew as well as the treasure that brought them together. The end. If you like this story, be sure to check out more from the Stereo Melon Library. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell.